Hello everyone and welcome to Cats Gaming and once again we're back on with another unboxing but today is a bit of a special one we're opening two Pokemon Celebration collection boxes so we've got the Dragapult Prime here and along with that we're going to be opening this which I'm going to be honest I'm not sure whether this is a Zakian collection box or a Pikachu pin badge collection box but either way this is what we're going to be opening so I think what we're going to do first is open all the boxes, get all the sort of promo stuff out and have a look at that first and then we can dive on into the packs. That is a really nice looking card. I really like the promo Pokemon Celebration cards, they look very old school and I think there is a reason for that and we'll get to that when we get to the Celebration packs themselves. So as well as that in here we have this? Oh wow, is this a binder? So it is a Pokemon card binder. Not really sure how many cards you'd get in there, but it is rather cool looking. So then we have the small version of the Jumbo card that we just saw. And then here is the player counter. And then for packs in this box you just get two packets of celebrations and a vivid voltage celebrations makes it sound like chocolates i feel like we're gonna have to call them the 25 euros or something a lot just sounds as bad we are gonna open all the packs at the end so up next we're gonna take a look at the next collection box so first we're gonna take a look at the pin badge which is really cool it's uh sort of a mix really between I believe it's Sky Pikachu or Flying Pikachu and Surfing Pikachu and you can actually spin this around to change it from Surfing Pikachu to Flying Pikachu. It's a really nice pin badge. So up next before I flip the Zakian card out let's take a quick look at the packs. This time you get four packs of celebrations, a chilling rain and a vivid voltage which again we're going to open the packs in a minute. So this is the Zakian card that you get with the collection box. It's got really nice background going on and I really like the uh, little touch of the 25 year Pikachu. It's actually crazy to think I am actually 35. So I've been around longer than Pokemon has. It's crazy how not many things have stayed around from sort of my time. Sort of in this day and age, things and sort of like trends and stuff like that can change sort of week in to week out, never mind go on for several years. So we have seen the Chilling Rain deck and the Vivid voltage deck before so when I can get them in focus we are just gonna fly through them fairly quickly so we got Celio, Melanie, a Whirlipede, a Clobopus, a Mareep, a Ralts, Cast Form, Brainy Form, Snova looks like a horror film card if you're looking at that as blood and then we got a hollow swiper and then the final card is I believe our third Tapu Fini card into the couple of Vivid Voltage packs Vivid Voltage has always been a really nice deck to open obviously the one card we want is Fat Pikachu but I've sort of given up hope that we're ever going to get him. I think I've had all my luck with Charizard. So again we're just going to fly through these fairly quickly. we got Kakuna, Loundred, Skiddo, Ferroseed, Dedene, Drillbur, Oshawa, the Hollow Cramorant, and the final card is a Crocodile. The last Vivid Voltage has actually got Pikachu on it. Just because they like to uh, 
easier. So let's see what we got. Oh, we got lightning energy into a Zeb Striker, a Dust Clops. We really should be playing Guess the Energy as well. I always feel like I'm sort of on a losing streak with it and we should keep it going. I don't think anybody's got it as wrong as I have. Oh wow! <laughs> so we do have an amazing rare Celebe. In a recent video the amount of amazing rares we got was absolutely crazy. I believe this is like my fourth amazing rare Celebe. And the final card is a V card is an ore beetle which we did see a very very long time ago got some nice pulls from the sort of standard deck packs but now we're gonna get into the good stuff of the celebrations and again i don't mean mars and snickers so these packs are a little bit strange i've actually never opened packs that only contain four cards in before so I think it's just going to be a case of we open them and just look at what they are. I'm not really sure if there's a card trick for these or not. So here we go then. Like I say, I haven't seen the deck list. But I do know that you can get cards from the sort of original base set inside. I am making a pig's ear of this. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't open them the wrong way around so here we go then again I'm not really sure if there's a card trick to this so we're just going to turn them over and get on with it I will have to probably sort out my camera there we go straight into what appears to be a shiny Lugia and then we've got Again, are all these cards shiny? Because that looks like a shiny Cosmo. And then we've got a Groudon. And then we've got our first uh, trainer card, which is a Professor's Research. I really like the art on that. I like the way his arm comes out of the uh, art border. And just because it does look like he's smoking a cigarette, I can promise you it is a pen. Well, just from the first pack, I can already tell that I'm really going to enjoy opening this set. I think there's only 50 cards in this set, so we probably are going to see quite a few duplicates. But again, I don't think we're also going to complain. And there we go with a duplicate straight away, another Groudon. I did not realise that there's actually whoever this is stood there. Oh nice, and then we got Cosmog. Look at the state of the arts on these cards, wow. And we got Eventhal. And then... A Lunella, which I think we've straight away got the full evolution of that. So no base set cards yet. Obviously the main man we're looking for is Blastoise. He's always sort of been one of my favourites and eventually after a long time we did finally get a Blastoise card. I keep going to do the four, the four card trick. And there's only four cards, so yeah. Gonna take a little bit of time, I think, to get out of that. So we got another Lugia. Oh wow, look at that Reshiram card. Looks insane. And then we got Palkia. Ooh, and then we got our first V. Which is actually a Zakian V. And again, for a V card. That looks really nice. 
So sadly we're going into our last sort of three packs. But we do have, like I say, an elite trainer box along with a premium collection box to open. Ooh, I think we got something good in this one. Not that we've got anything rubbish yet. So again, there's that cool Reshiram card. Along with the uh, Lugia. And then the next one is Summit Good. Oh, oh, wow! Of all the cards to get a Mew EX, oh man. That looks beautiful. Wow, these cards are insane. This is one way to sort of celebrate 25 years. Anyway, there's another Lunella card. It's just a big shame that this deck wasn't a little bit bigger. Because straight away we're coming across a lot of common cards. Well, not a lot of common cards, a lot of duplicates. Not again that I'm complaining because they are really nice cards. It's just a shame we didn't get more of different nice cards. We've got two packs left. I really would like to get a base set card. Another Cosmog. Another Reshiram. Oh wow, into a Garchomp EX. Wow, we're getting some mad cards. And again, that's got a little uh, trainer face on it. You're going to have to just ignore what I say now. I'm just like... Oh, man! Look at that! Oh, wow. This has got to go down as, like, the greatest opening that we've ever done. So you go then, sadly, into the last pack for this video. But what an opening this has been. Unfortunately, I have put all my cards off to the side but oh wow and I've opened this pack just blatantly the wrong way around so there we go we got definitely got a Kyogre but I will quickly go through the good pulls that we got in the outro in case anybody did miss them because I didn't have them on the screen so into the last pack of this amazing set, we have a Kyogre, there's the Eventhal card again, and then into something special by the looks of it, oh wow, whoa, that has got some mad shine on it, into I believe that's an alternate art Zekrom. Oh, nice, and then just to finish it off, a Mew card. Again, all the cards appear to be holographic or shiny in this set. Happy 25 years, everyone. That was absolutely nuts. Unfortunately, I've made an absolute terrible mess of my cards, but like I say, I will quickly go through them in the outro. We do have a couple more things left to open, so again, if you think you're going to be interested in that, then please don't forget to subscribe. If you did like the video, which it has definitely been a good one for me, then don't forget to drop a big like. I hope everybody's having a great day and everybody who's opening this set is enjoying it. I will be back very soon, but until then, I'll catch you in the next one.